So for the next part of the experiment, I'm going to set up total internal reflection using the prism with the protractor on it. So the very first thing I'm going to do is actually shift so that I'm able to check the orientation of the protractor relative to the laser. What I'm going to do first is place the prism with the protractor on it on the baseboard. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, very high-tech little bit of... Um, I think it's plyboard actually, and I'm going to put it so that the laser beam shines through. So you can kind of see that happening there. I'm going to take this away, and you'll notice both those reflections on the white uh, screen there have disappeared. So they're, they're quite important for finding our, our zero position for everything. So I'm going to take the protractor and I'm going to set it to a needlessly weird angle, um, put it in place, and there we go. So you can see I'm not getting any uh, reflections at all at the moment. And I'm going to rotate this around. You can see as I turn this we're getting the reflected face passing over the hole. So now you can see there are two reflections there and one of them is caused by the prism and the other is uh, just coming off uh, the reflecting face there. So I just want to centralize this. So if I move the protractor here so that this uh, first reflection is over the hole from which the laser is emerging. That means that it's zeroed in that direction. Uh, and then if I rotate this back, this gives us the zero reading of the protractor. So this should be uh, set up so that the uh, laser beam is now perpendicular to this protractor. And with that being the case, I'm going to take a photo of the zero position of the protractor. So. Now, um, what I'm going to do is shift the camera again so that now we're looking at the rear face. And you can see uh, we've got light transmitted through the system, um, which doesn't really matter much at all. Like We don't care what's going on here, but we do want to look at this. And what I'm going to do is rotate this protractor. And what you might notice there is if I'm looking at this transmitted beam, there's a certain point at which it disappears. And it's not, uh, it's not going off the face of the protractor, um, so it's not like it's being transmitted off the edge of the screen, because you can see only a small turn back brings it back. And so what we've found here is total internal reflection. So at this point, all of the beam's light is being transmitted internally. So we're meant to repeat this three times in the lab book, um, but I don't think there's going to be, I don't think it's going to be visible here, um, you know, the angles that I set it to each time. So I'm going to insert some photos uh, of the protractor at the total internal reflection angle so that you can measure that. Um, and then I'm going to put a brief video of us looking down through the top so that you can actually see the beam. And here's the uh, top-down view of the prism. And I can just make out, hopefully it's more visible there, you can see the... you can see the beam being refracted. It's quite a nice, uh, quite a nice view there, not, not amazing.